Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Many of you have been asking me when am I going to do the next review for the upcoming EC that is going to MOP or already MOP. So acres. If you all know how hot are all the so acres owners and what can they do after their MOP period. So I'm going to teach you how you can use the current portfolio to either sell one buy two or you can decouple to buy the next property for investment. This is also very helpful for those of you who are waiting for your MOP. So remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Will Soul Acres make as much as the rest of the ECs? Let's check it out. This is Soul Acres and their slogan is 365 days of happiness. Xiao liao la, then what will happen every four years on the last day of February? Then will be very sad already. Ah. Why not happiness unlimited or happiness every day? Ah, then like that, everyone happy ma. During leap year, remember, do not meet any of Soul Acres friend on the last day of February because they may be very angsty, they may be very sad, or maybe some of them will borrow money from you because of some emergency. And their MOP is 12th March 2023 and they have a second date 26 April 2023. Why is there two dates for your MOB? So let's go back to this website again. I remember this year I've done Criterion. I have done Wonderville. Oh, I've missed out Park Life. Sorry guys, there are too many videos. I, I miss out on this. Anyway, Park Life has already MOB on March 29. So now we are talking about Soul Acres. <laughs> And you can see that they have two dates, 12 March and 26 April. I saw this, so Acres, they have phase one and phase two TOP. And weirdly, phase one consists of two dates. And phase two, there are two dates as well. I thought phase one should be March, then second phase April. Ma. Anyway, let's look at the site plan. Whoa, I didn't know. This should be the biggest EC in Singapore. Look at the site plan. There are so many blocks, yeah? Since their MOP got two phase, uh, let me show you on the site plan. Uh, this black color blocks are phase one, which is 12th March. The, the white color blocks are phase two, which is 26 April. So very simple, ma. Since black one is the first one to MOP, let them be the guinea pig. Let them sell first. They have the white one once MOP 26 April, then you sell higher than them. So where is this giant EC located at? It's over here, which is the Northwest region of Singapore. So Acres was launched back in August 2015, and they waited seven and a half years. Seven and a half years of waiting period is actually very healthy. Let's check out how many owners are giant Huawei now after seven and a half years. I don't know how many units are. Let's check it out. Wow, they got 1,327 units. And let's say there are four people average in each unit. Wow, you have 5,200 people staying in this. I confirm the swing pool got a lot of people during weekend. But I love such project. At least you have people, not like some project. You go swimming pool, no people there. Ah, uh, you want to see people happy, happy, play the pool, beat each other, run around. Uh. You can see the happiness in Soul Acres, but it's only 365 days, just one set day every four years. Let's zoom in more to the location. So Soul Acres is here, which is near Chua Chu Kang. You have the Teck Whai area. Every time I heard about Teck Whai, wow, it is a very bad memory of mine because during my early 20s, I was homeless. We are chased out from our parents' HDB flat due to not paying installment. Nah. So HDB asked us to rent out the whole HDB so that we can use the renter to pay back HDB. So at that time, I'm homeless and at that age, I don't have any place to stay. I'm very fortunate that my, my elder sister got her friend who is so nice that is willing to accommodate us. So, and is in Take Wai. And you know, Aukang, we have MRT station. We have a lot of food there. So when I moved to Take Wai, oh, yo. I, I, again, I'm appreciative of what I have at that time. But from Aukang, and I moved to Chua Chu Kang, like Take Wai area. Wow, it's a total change in my life. And I didn't take LRT before, so guys, I'm going to tell you a joke. So please laugh. Huh? So when I first took LRT, I went to the platform, and the first thing when I saw the train come, you know what is the first thing that I did? I stand up and I wave. 
and wave that I hope the train will stop in front of me. Well, then Pai says, yeah, I hope at that time no one see me doing that. Lah, oh. So if you see me doing that, uh, that's me. Lah, oh. Okay. Uh. So guys, remember next time when you take LRT to be polite to everyone, remember to flag the train down. This is located in this area and I do not have a lot of happy memories here anyway. And plus this area literally got nothing, man. So guys, how much did they profit? For so acres, somehow I can't find how much they bought during launch time. And I only have this data here, which you can see this is a three bed, two bath bought at 830 square feet. This is a four bedder, 738 per square feet. These are all the data that I have. I'll be using two scenarios, three bed, three bath and four bed, three bath as an example. I did some research. The smaller three bed, three bath is 1076 square feet. And at that time, they should be buying at $840,000, which is around $780 per square feet. For the four bedders, we can see that based on this data, we have 1184 square feet. I went to check the smallest four bedroom there is 1173 square feet. And I guess that they bought in around $890,000, which is around $750 per square feet. Anyway, half of the project has a real MOP. And let's find out what are the current listings on Property Guru. And what I like to do, I like the filter. Let's look at the three bedder first. It seems that we do have 1076, but we do have a common 1098 square feet. Asking about 1.58 million, 1.48, 1.7, 1.5, 1 1.58. So it's around 1.48 to 1.7 million. Let's look at the four bedroom. Four bedder. Four bedder, we have 1.688, 1.7 million, 1.72 million. So it's 1.68 to 1.72 million. Let's see how much I think they can sell at. For the three bed, three bath, 1076, 1098 square feet, they should be able to sell at 1350 to 1004 per square feet, 1.45 to 1.5 million. For their four bidder, 1173 square feet, 1184 square feet should be selling at 1.55 to 1.6 million, 1320 to 1370 per square feet. This is just a guy. If you can sell higher than this price, I am more than happy for you. You deserve it, my friend. You have waited seven and a half years for this to happen. So if you can get higher price, go for it, guys. Let's check out whether are there any transactions since half of the project has already MOP. Very good. There are some transactions over here. And these first three are transacted after MOP. The rest are sold before MOP. People who sell before MOP, they appeal to HDB for some reasons. And that's the reason they are selling off at a lower price. The very accurate way to see how much you can really transact your unit at is to check those that is transacted after the MOP dates. For this case, we'll be using these three transactions. I do not know why it's this size. However, it's transacted at 1.13 million. Guys, do you see how much the four bidder is sold or not? The four bidder was sold 1,004 per square feet, 1.65 million. Well done, seller. I know it's a new EC, but for new EC that is sold 1,004 per square feet with no MRT nearby, it means the seller is a giant huakui, man. Let's see how much this owner makes. Uh. 1,173 square feet, 762,000. Amazing, man. Even the smaller size, 710 square feet, made 400. Don't know what is this size. Made 427. And ah, uh, then you see those before MOP one. Ah, uh. uh, you see, they make lesser. If you really want to desperately sell your EC, remember to sell after MOP. But I know some of you, you will rather get lower profits because you don't want to see. So let's see how much they make. For 3 bath, they bought in about 840. If they sell at 1.45 million, they make 610,000 profit, which is 565 per square feet. After you learn that the 4 bidder make 700 over 1,000 in 7.5 years, which means like every year 100,000. Uh, now you understand if you can go back in time, for any good projects, you will hope to buy the bigger the better. Let's see the 4 bidder. For 4 bidders, I guess they bought in about 890. If they sell at 1.6 million, Profit 710,000, which means 605 per square feet. It is not how much you make. The very most important thing is how are you going to use these resources to make more money? So you need to learn with these resources that you have, what can you do with it? 
how can you multiply? How can you use these to make your hua kui bigger and bigger? And not anyhow use this resource and become a cai tao and buy a tree property and it go back to square one. I do have a case study. I have people coming to me for one-to-one -one consultation for me to plan what they can do with their assets to build their hua kui bigger and bigger. So for this case, it's a three-bed, three bath and these are their numbers. The husband is 42, income is a 54, wife 43, income 85. See, I told you right now it's very common for wife to make more than husband. So who is the successful one? It is still the husband who is more successful to marry such a wife. So very conservative, I put the selling price as 1.45 million. After outstanding loan 600k proceeds, they will get back 850. This 850 will go back to the CPF use for husband and wife and their cash proceeds. Everyone look at that. 710,000. So if you use it wisely, you will make more. If you use it stupidly, gone lah. Over the seven and a half years, the CPF savings, 100K, wife got 200K savings, cash, another 150K, total up, overall, total assets, 1.35 million. Guys, go and play with this spreadsheet. It's a very fun spreadsheet that I created and you can use this spreadsheet to check how hot you are. This is the link, tinyurl.com slash savvy asset. Just input all the numbers in the yellow boxes and voila, you have your total assets. So guys, if you need my help to assist you to shortlist good properties that has high capital appreciation and rental income, you can consider to come to my one-to-one -one consultation program. You can contact my team, they will send you some information. I will put the link to my company's number below in the comment section. Okay, what are the considerations to do your own planning? For this case, I'll look at the age. I'll look at their income. I will just use my experience to come out a total portfolio amount that they can achieve. I feel that based on their profile, they can buy up to 3 million for two properties. And for this case, who should buy the own stay? Since the wife is younger and is more successful, income is higher, I will always believe that the one that has higher income should be the one buying the own stay property because it's more stable. And I would suggest the wife to buy her own stay budget about 1.7 million. The second property, husband will buy an investment property roughly about 1.3 million. Before I calculate the affordability for the own stay property, just remember you do not need to care about the investment property because whatever price anyone buys before the age of 45, the renter can cover. You just need to worry the installment for your own state property. If you feel that this installment is okay, means that you can afford, then we will set that as your budget. If you feel that, wow, Eric, this is very chuan, very tight, then you reduce accordingly. La. So for this case, own state 1.7 million, the money installment will be $5,650 based on the current fixed rate of 3.65%. It is based on 32 years loan tenure. Yes, the wife is 43 years old, I can do 32 years loan tenure. And not to forget, since the wife is working, she has CPF $1,250 to pay for installment. Cash flow negative will be $4,400 every month. If this is okay, then this will be your budget. If not, you just reduce accordingly. If I'm not wrong, every $100,000 budget that you reduce, the installment will reduce roughly about $350. So if you buy 1.5 million, which means it will reduce by 200,000, means you will reduce cash flow of $700. Okay, guys, let's go for the investment property. For husband, investment 1.3 million. The rental that you can get into this market should be 4,005. Money installment 4,250 based on fixed rate 3.65% at 33 years loan tenure. He is 42 years old. Yes, I can do 33 years loan tenure. And not to forget, he is working and based on his income, which is 5,004, I guess that his monthly CPF OA contribution should be around 1,001, which you can pay for installment. And then you have a cash flow of $1,350, which means for two properties, you pay 3,050 every month. If you want to factor more, can la, you put your maintenance fee, your property tax, everything, 4000 per month. Lor. So if you feel that this is okay, it means that you can proceed with this 3 million budget for two properties. And wait, 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 guys. 
I know you all are very scary cat. So you want to see whether, oh, is there any risk? So let's look at how much funds they have at the end of the day. So for own state property, 1.7 million, down payment is 485,000. And for the investment, 1.3 million, down payment is 367,000. This is the all-in formula that I created. Stamp duty, la, legal fees, all-in. This is the right amount. And remember, after they sold off their EC, they will have 1.35 million in total assets. That means they will have 498,000 cash left. Where got, where got risk? For the investment property, you know there's rental that cover. How worse it can be? Even I say both of you cannot retrench. La. You can use this almost 500,000 savings to pay your own state property for a long time. And for some reasons, you can't find a job, you totally don't want to work anymore. You just sell this to get back all your money and go and downgrade to a HDB again. No? But at least you know you have made so much money from these two properties. So guys, I hope that using this example, you can have some ideas how you can do up your portfolio and to continue to bake your hot way bigger and bigger. So do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next video.